The Machine Jam is a great tool for composing and conducting music. Imagine each touch strip represents a different segment of the orchestra, and my fingers are the conductor. I'll let this play out for a bit, and then show you how it's built. Using the note button, the touch strips can also be used to strum instruments. All right, stick around if you want to see how this track was built. Most of the work building this track was done on the Machina Jam, but I did use the MK3 a bit and the computer for setup. I've got five tracks or groups. Group A is a piano. I've got simple reverb on that, and it's the um, Arturia Piano V. And the rest of the groups are contact presets. Strings, viola, French horns, and harp. Once this basic setup was done, I hardly touched the MK3 or the computer at all. Obviously, it was nice to have the MK3 screens while I was programming the jam, but basically, uh, it's much more convenient just to step sequence notes on the Machina jam. Um, and you can follow along on the MK3, of course, as well. Editing notes is simple. You just hold a note and you can change its length if you like or velocity. I didn't do that, uh, of course, because I was going to rely on the touch strips for volume. Let me walk you briefly through the other groups. The double bass, low strings, very simple sequence here. Group C are my violas. This is what it looks like. Quick tip here, uh, you can go into the step, step sequencer and uh, find your notes and then hold down multiple notes to change their parameters simultaneously. Here I'm changing length, you can see it in the jam and on the MK3 screens as well. Especially for the um, longer segments, for example, in this scene, um, I have one that spans across, I think, five or six bars. Uh, really nice to see the overall view of what's going on, and then you can always zoom in on the jam. Finally, for group E, the harps, there are no pre-programmed steps. Rather, I use the notes function. Uh, the chords are programmed um, each column represents the notes in a chord. Um, I only used two uh, rows in this case, E flat minor and A flat. I also programmed D flat, but didn't end up using it. The final step before you can begin playing is arrangement, and that's a really nice feature of uh, the Machina software and the hardware that goes with it, each part um, has the various patterns that are associated with it, and you can program very long sequences and then just uh, be left alone to mess around with the different volumes on the sliders once you have your entire piece arranged and set out. So that's pretty much it. I think the notes and the sequences in this piece are relatively simple. It's the intensity and the volume of each track as it comes in and, and goes out. Uh, that's what I think makes it magical. Um, I'll let it play out. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon.